My name is Wilhelmina Gumaclito. I am a mediator and a teacher. And today we are going to be talking about conflict, especially conflict in the black community. We're gonna be talking about gang violence because it allows us to talk about both an interpersonal level conflict, which is conflict that happens between two people, and intergroup conflict, which is conflict that happens between groups of people. So, what is conflict? Conflict generally refers to some form of friction or disagreement between two people or groups of people. Interpersonal conflict, which is conflict that happens between two people, and it happens because of differing personalities or different needs, different values, and different beliefs. And intergroup conflict refers to conflict that is happening between two different groups, usually different ethnic groups, racial groups, national groups, or even organizations. Very often, the question that is asked is why is there so much violence in the black community? If you look at statistics, um, taking over 2015 and 2016, um, there were 46 homicides in the city of Boston, six more than there were in 2015. And most of these homicides are taking place in Dorchester, Roxbury, Matterpan, Mission Hill, parts of Jamaica Plain, and East Boston. All of these areas have a large amount of black and Hispanic residents. The question to ask yourself is why do most black and brown young men join gangs? The four main reasons that come out of all the research is that people join gangs for identity, people join gangs for protection, most youth join gangs to find a sense of community. The fourth reason why people join gangs is due to finances. In Massachusetts, seven cent of black men were unemployed in 2016 and 10.6% of black men were unemployed in 2015. The feeling or idea of feeling deprived of um, a desired point of reference, whether that is um, your salary, uh, whether it's access to resource, whatever your point of reference is, if you feel deprived of that, it's called deprivation. And the relativity comes into play when you judge your specific outcomes against another outcome. Feelings of relative deprivation only arise when legitimate expectations or desires are blocked by society. Being unemployed is relative deprivation because they judge themselves against the larger society, which is black, Asian, and other groups, and they see that they are not benefiting from the system as much as the other groups. And so they feel a sense of being deprived. Black and brown youth in Massachusetts are facing economic discrimination and this happens in the forms of not being able to get steady unemployment and so they are forced to join gangs because they need money to pay their bills to live to have a normal life and if you're not able to get a job joining a gang is your second best option 